Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying, uh, or trying to tie, a Durrish shrimp or some would call it the, the shitey whitey uh, which is a funny name for a salmon fly like, but anyway it's a very productive uh, for pattern and uh, I'd have been asked a few times to tie it but uh, you really need certain materials to get it dead right and I, I'm, I'm get, I'm, I think I'm close anyway, I mean the main thing I'm I'm looking at photographs on the internet and uh, if you want to see a well tied dairy shrimp, it's a uh, Edwin White is the gentleman that ties these, uh, ties them really well, and uh, uh, obviously the right colours. So, but I'm get, I've, I can only use what I've got. So basically, uh, this will be. I mean, I'm going to be. Obviously, I'm going to have a cast this afternoon, so I'll be taking this fly with me. So, anyway, who I'm using? This is a equivalent to a size eight. It's a double, silver double, uh, Patriot or the Magni double, any of these two would do fine, whatever you, or even just tie it on whatever hook you have. They can be tied in a tube as well, I uh, fancy tying one or two on a tube, so but anyway I'll stick to the double. The thread I'm going to be using is the Uni 8 in black. Now we just start at the eye, I'm going to come down, oops I'm a bit afraid there, so I don't know what's wrong. Start again. I don't want to work with frayed thread, so just remove the waste. And now I'm going to tie in the. I'm going to form the tag using a small oval silver tinsel. We tie this the way down. Now give yourself plenty of room up this area because you've got obviously uh, there's two colours in the wing and there's two hackles, so make sure you've got plenty of room. Now to say tie this in the way down. I'm going to form the tag and uh, the rib with the oval tinsel. So I'm taking the thread to basically when I let it go, it's in line with the points of the hooks, or the hook anyway. The four turns down the way to form the tag, and then I'm bring the oval tinsel between the hooks. You can see here, just basically tighten up, and then I'm going to catch on with the thread, and I'll lock in the uh, the tag itself. Now I'm going to take this about halfway halfway up. Now the body is two colours, got a silver uh, holographic and then an olive seal sphere and an olive dubbing near the top. So then anyway, that's it formed, I've just taken the back, that's, that's going to form your rib. Now the body, uh, sorry the tail, is a orange uh, bucktail and a yellow bucktail. So it takes not much, more. there's more orange looking at the photograph, there's a lot more orange and there is yellow, so I'm going to stick to that. So I'll just take away the fluff. We drop a yellow. I mean, you can count the strands basically. Uh, it's quite hard to see whether there's a lot of strands, there's a lot of yellow, there's not. So I'm going to put it on. Now, what I'm going to do here, you could stack them if you want, I'm just going to do it by hand. And then I'm going to roll the fibre together just to. Blend the yellow and orange. Uh, just line up the ends. See how much I've got. Now, this is where you could say, right, if we'll get too much, or you can always take it away. I think I've just got a wee bit too much. So, don't want it just as heavy. Some of the orange, right? some of the yellow. There we are. Now, length is basically up to yourself. I normally about twice the hook anyway, so there's one, there's two over the back. You can tie it to suit yourself, reduce the tail, just tie it on the top. Now, I'm going to tie the full length of the body, which is over there, but give, make sure you've got plenty of room here for your wing and your hackles. Now I'm going to put a bit of some flash. Now this is a, this is a nano, it's an olive. This is I'll show you the colour. It's called nano crystal flash and olive. So this will go with the colour of the fly. So a couple of strands. Just to put into the tail. Two or three anyway, you whatever you like. Uh, so I'm going to put a couple of strands. Slight, just slightly short the tail length. Just slightly. And then tie it on the top. Now keep this, this goes into the wing as well. 
just going to moisten it and set it in my desk. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to tidy things up. So I'm going to quickly take the thread up. Make sure this sits on the top. What I'm going to do here as well, I'm just going to taper the, just at the end here. I'm just going to put a tapered cut in there, so it tapers down. Nice and tight. Then on the way back down, I'm going to tie in some tinsel, so I'm going to get halfway back. Tie in a silver holographic. This is just a large. So I'm just going to wind it to the point where I want it to start. Come back up and then oops, I'm broke. I'm just gonna form the first part of the body, as I say is the holographic silver. It's fine, nice and tight. Come that away. And I'm gonna use this is a kind of dark olive seals fur. It slightly does it. it on. Just keep it reasonably thin, don't overdo it. Let's wind up. That's fine. So it works on my thread. Just draw back any fibre going forward with your fingers. You bring your rib up through. Maybe you're looking at least three turns onto the silver and then a couple of turns onto the the olive dubbing. Catch it in nice and tight, screw it in. Yeah, okay, I need a wax on my thread, get a nice base of thread down. And there we are, that's the body done. Now the two colours in the wing. Now, this is a hot orange, I wasn't sure where to use a kind of paler colour. I'm sticking to a colour that's just close to the tail, the orange in the tail, so it matches. So, I'm going to put that one first. This is a Arctic Runner, sorry. This is just a hot orange. Now I'm going to put it into, say, middle of the, the tail. You trim it. So wax the thread, set it on the top here, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the, the thread into the cut ends, keeping the, the hair on top. Now if it comes round with the thread a wee bit, just use your nail to bring it back up. Now if you want it to last, I mean I, the, the wax thread will hold it, but people ask me about the problems hanging with the, with the hair pulling out, so just put a wee tiny touch of super glue in the cut ends and then tie it down. I'll never pull out in that case. Now for the overwing I'm going to use, this is, this was a nice, a natural ginger and I added it, I tied it a wee bit orange to get this colour so it blends with the rest of the, the fibre. Don't need much. Tie it on the top, and again, round about the same length. So we'll do the same again. So we we'll just trim it. Just wax your thread. Now there is some wee drop of super glue still on the top there. So I'm basically cut the thread into the hair, and that will help hold that. Just make sure again it's on the top. Just spreading out a wee bit. If you feel it's, if you need tiny, I mean it's just a wee sliver of. The glue, your fly will last far long if you do that. Uh, I don't normally do it all, I mean I just tie the fly usually, the wax normally holds, take away the excess. And there we go, now there'll be a bit of flashback to the flash, so we've got two strands. You tie this on the top, just about the length of the wing is again, it's much the same. Just a couple of turns and then fold it back and then trim away. See how it sits and it looks. 
a nice warm colour. I mean, uh, as far as I believe, it's uh, it's much paler now. The two capes I've looked out, I've got a pale, pale yellow, or a, oh, it looks pale, it's quite warm there. Uh, I've got this yellow, and I've got a, a basically a dark, a green. It's a green the olive. So I've actually selected two feathers. And, uh, I'm going to wind the yellow first. You can wind them together if you want. Now these are just Chinese. Next I have. Important that you do wax your thread, make sure there's plenty of grip. The length of the fibre, it's up to yourself. Uh, looking at the photograph, and I'm looking at the internet, they're quite long actually. So I'm going to be in between. You tie it to suit yourself. So I've just folded the hackle. Now, with these feathers, depending on how good they are, how good the fibres are, I'm going to turn about three turns so I can see the yellow. So cut, cut it in, nice and tight. Trim away. Now, if I was tying cascade or something like that, I'd probably I'd line both together, uh, which saves a bit of bulk. But anyway, so there's my yellow. Got my dark green or dark olive, if you want to call it. Taking away the fluff. Catch it in. Nice and tight. Make sure it's secure. Same number of hard turns, depend again, it depends on the, how good the, the feather is. I'm going to go one. Now there's no jungle cock in this flight. Though you can put it on, it's up to yourself. I'm just going to leave it off. So let me have a quick look. I can always catch this, see what it looks like. Uh, it looks not too bad. Ah, I'll do it. I'll do it. So you can hold. Just lift the fibres back. Nice and tight. Right up against the stem. Just going to build the head up. And tidy things. A wee bit of the stem here I want to try and cover. So I'm going to put a wax on the thread. That looks fine. It's better. Keeping the thread tight, don't let the thread go. It's amazing how much, uh, if you let that thread go before picking up your whip finisher, you'll throw back a good couple of turns, slacking off what you just done. But you, well, basically what you just done anyway. So I'm keeping things nice and tight. Trim away my thread. Let's pull this back. There we are. And that's my quick go at tying the, the Durris, the Durris shrimp. Or as I say, it's called the Shitey Whitey. I um, mean, the gentleman's called the Edmund White, so I, I don't know whether he's been named after. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, now what I'm going to do here, this is super glue, just a wee touch, just touching the head, don't let it touch the, don't let it run into the, the dressing. Just very light, just touch the, the head. Then just a wee drop too much here at the front, so I'm just going to use my dubbing needle just to clean it. Now that'll dry really quick. So it will. Um, nice pattern, it's a lovely colour, like, so it is. So I'll be trying, I'll be maybe cast this afternoon, so hopefully there's a sound around that will take an interest in this. And uh, I'm sure they will because of the colours is spot on. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Now what I'll do, once the superglue dries, give it a, 
another coat, uh, varnish, uh, I'll give it a couple of coats of varnish, sorry, and then that's, that's the fly finished, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. As I say, it was a request, but it's, I'm fishing uh, this afternoon, so it gave me the excuse to actually to tie one of these flies. So, again, thanks for watching, and until next time.